It's Nick back again, and uh, we are working on my brother's forerunner this time. Um, we are reinstalling. Ooh, it's dark. We are reinstalling the uh, anti sway wire on the back, and we are also doing drums, I think. Right? Drums. drums. We're doing drums. We're also doing what looks to be wheel seals or wheel axle seals? seals. Axle seals? Looks like it. And looks like we're doing pads of course with the drums that go with it so we have for both sides so pads on those sides and whatnot what side is supposed to be leaking i guess because you said you have to do a rear axle seal right yeah it's leaking on this side the passenger side can't really see it unless you go under i believe when we oh yeah you can off. you can kind of see it look at that a little drippage on the bottom that's a that's bad bad seal uh your other side looks good though yeah it's not uh not leaking or anything <laughs> It's kind of nice though, because you can just sneak behind here, but obviously we gotta lift it up by the uh, the rear axle here. We gotta lift this up and then get it off the ground, put it on jacks, and then we're gonna undo the wheels. And then after we do the wheels, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling everything else off. And I think it's this side that's leaking, so we're gonna have to pull that off. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it. Good. Stuff. Are you sure that's going to be okay? What do you mean? I mean, I do. We do have truck stands. I know. So we could. That kind of seems a little, uh, little long. I know. It's fine. <laughs> Says you. I've had to do it before on regular stands. Oh yeah, I mean, it's still off the ground. All right, fine. I think the little one's just fine, right? It worked. Worked well enough. My purse. You can kind of see it inside. Kind of. It's leaking right down here. Onto the brakes and then it rolls around. What was it? 14, 10, and 12? 14, 10, and 12 are Toyota's go to socket sizes or bolt sizes. Occasional 17 and 19. Come on. Let me get to remove the cable. Got to take the cable off. Once the cable comes off, take the brake line. Brake line comes off. And it's pretty much home straight. Four bolts and the axle's out. tends to 
to work for this vehicle. Do I recommend it for all vehicles? No. But this one for some reason works. So I try not to mess with anything that, that works. Boom. Capped. Off. Parking brake. Your ABS goes right into your housing, so you don't have to worry about that. I like to put a little knuckle in the back. Or yep. kind of right here. To your housing right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to take the whole thing out there. Yeah, the seal sits right back here. Inside the tube? Mm-hmm. In the tube. Well, because it's a straight rear axle, isn't it? Yep. Straight or live. This or... would be a straight. Or solid. Multiple names, same thing. Oh, of course. Let's knock that off. Well, the cap came off? Uh-huh. Whoops. Like an idiot. Mm -hmm. It happens. It pops off. I mean, there's not much it's grabbing onto, is it? Not really. Is there four of those, or is it just two? There's four. There's four. So there's like two others directly below it. One below it, and then. that seal right there, the red one. No, this no? one right here. Where? Oh, in there. Oh, shit. oh, so it's not that. It's not this. This is a bearing. So, bearing. Okay. So the ABS tone wheel. What? Oh, that over oh, right there. That's the okay. ABS tone wheel. Got the it. ABS sensor. Your lock collar. Lock collar. Okay. So it's kind of like the bearing shafts on the, on the transmission. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then your seal sits right here. Okay. Is it that metal piece? Oh, hold up. I'm like. That piece right here. Oh, the brass? Brass looking brass, thing? Brass, yep. And with a little bit of rubber. That sits and rides right on here. So it goes there. Oh. It kind of reminds me of a transmission. Okay. Cool. So that's not bad. And then in there, rubber. Oh, okay. I can see it. See the rubber o ring that's behind the brass? Yep. It's right here. All of this. Okay. Not bad. That's pretty cool. So, that goes all the way to the differential. These teeth go to the differential. This, that, is a little bearing. And the ABS wheel. Okay. That's cool. And now you gotta get the seal puller and pull that out, right? Yep. Fun stuff. Oh. That little bearing's not bad, right? Line 
past the seal. Yeah, and it'll start spinning inside of here, inside the inside the shaft, right? Inside there. Yep. And it'll start throwing all the fluid everywhere, which I mean that's been happening. You can see it right there. Okay. So pressing this in shouldn't be too bad, right? Nope. Just get your new seal. I'm gonna line it up, make sure. You have to replace the whole thing. Okay. Like that. Just go get the prep done too. Get on camera, but it was just like it was a light, like tap, tap all around, and it went down. Oh yeah, insert that. I mean, what? See? Oh, okay. So that, that was a lot better than earlier. Yep. So, oh yeah, look at that. It's actually further in. It seems like it is, at least. Like I said. From where it was earlier. It's in there deep like. I know my car. My vehicle. Oh yeah, look. Color. It's even, I think the studs are still, no, nah, they're about the same. No, they're, they're where they're supposed to be. But you could tell and something was different. Uh-huh. I've worked on this thing for the last eight years. Well, I think you've... I know her pretty darn well. Yeah. I mean, considering that it's a little battle scar. This is from one of those big boulders from uh, Las Vegas, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Copper yeah. Cash. Oh yeah, you took me there once. Copper Cash, and um, there's another battle scar on this from Tyrod. I think I might show some of that footage. Oh, I can't stick my head out because it's gonna be too close. Yeah, I was about to say, you might have to come a little left. No sweat. First waterfall.
Am I fighting you? No. The bottom has to. Yeah, I, I'm trying to. <laughs> I can't pair. Just check the fluid levels. Yep. After. Which, being that we capped it, it shouldn't have leaked that much. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, most of it's right there. It's not that much. No, not at all. So again, as we start to let it bleed, it's going to bleed some of that air. Being that the inline is lower than the bleeder, should force the air out pretty quick. If this was an RS or a lot more of a sporty vehicle, I would definitely be going and really pushing through all the bubbles. All the bubbles. But on something with a drum brake system and it was consistently letting fluid come out through the line, I'm not too worried about it. There's no chance of air getting really through the system. It's always been bleeding pressure out. So that does make me feel a lot better about it. So now time to do the brakes. Yeah, all these, all that. <laughs> you can kind of see the gunking stuff on the inside of that pad right there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of gunk. This is all brake dust with rear diff oil. I definitely am going to top off my fluid just to make sure I oh, have enough fluid. On the, this one? Yep, on the differential right there. Make sure there's enough fluid in there. Which. I did see a lot of fluid in the tube, so it should be fine, but... If you want to add, you always go to the top one right there. That bolt. And oh. your drain plug is on the bottom, right there. And it's time to get cracking with the fun stuff. Pads! Oh joy. I'm going to clean up first. What was that? The uh, springs that hold the, the shoes on. Not too tight. Oh, that? The shoes are too tight, I can't get them off, so I'm trying to figure out a way to get them off. Pop that off. Spring? Yep.
I need that photo. That definitely needs an adjustment. All right. You should not be able to slide it on that easily. Okay. Oh boy, my hands are wet. All the uh, hand sweat. So you're not supposed to be able to slide that on that easily. So what do you gotta do? So, let me take a screwdriver. Cloth here to wipe this off a little bit. Wipe this off. And this is your adjuster. Normally on the back side there's a little rubber grommet right here. And you can stick a screwdriver through. Oh, you mean uh, that rubber grommet right there? That little grommet. It's on the back side. Places right? right here. You can kind of see behind. The screwdriver's touching right there. Somewhere back there. And that sticks through. When you stick a screwdriver back there, it does this. It ratchets this adjuster. And it pushes the shoes out to touch the drum. So all I'm doing is making a small adjustment. I'm going to adjust and push the shoes and kind of pull and move them around a little bit. And I'm going to see how easy this drum goes on, or doesn't go on. And if it's still really easy, you can make another minor adjustment. And it's just my hands slipping on this drum. Second the back side. Oh yeah, you can see where, where the drum it is. It's right there. Project looks like it's done. So it's done now? This project is. Now it's time for the sway bar. Oh Let's yeah. Right here. Oh, so it bolts up to on the frame right there. Frame and then the axle you'll see here in a little bit. Axle's 
axle needs to come down. Yeah, something like that. The sway bar can be put on. Yeah. Oh, well, because it... Where does it go? Hang on. I can't really tell where it goes. You'll see it here in a second. It goes on the other side. Other side? <laughs> This thing has drooped for days. Still going. And that's it. Because that one pulled out bolts quite often. I had to use a little bit bigger bolt on the top. On the bottom is a factory one. Right here on the asshole. Oh, that one? Here's this side. Oh, you left the hardware there. Yeah, put the hardware in. So this guy. Oh. Oh, you gotta go that way. Over it like that? What the heck? Off of things. Like so. I still wanted to leave everything loose. So that we can get that get that side on too. So you kinda let everything kinda hang. And make it a little easier to get you all situated. Like so. Where did the bracket go? Oop. Maybe not. And you can't cheat. You have to put put it on there first? Yep. And just like that, it's all back together. Truck is back down on the ground. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. It's really hot and I'm trying to close this out really fast, but that's about it. If you guys have any more video suggestions for us to do, less sides, you know, this truck, and then, you know, eventually this truck, you know, let us know. But this is it, we're, we're done. It's hot, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go eat. We're, we're, so uh, yeah, this is Nick from U Cars. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.